Oh man, what do you take to the shows with you? Pools, whatever. Eh, fair enough question. Okay, first off, you're still at home. So, make sure that you polish the car up. Okay? Now, make sure you take the novice one and the novice two with you. Okay? Also, make sure that you take a couple squares of 100% flannel. Alright? So, you set the model down. Okay? Make sure, check I take a little bit of the novice one, maybe you got a little bit of a fingerprint where you were holding on to the rain gutter, take a little bit, make sure it's smooth. Now, <laughs> novice one will protect it, okay, um, from static electricity. A lot of times, believe it or not, when you go to a show, you got people walking by, it's plastic, dust, little fibers, they're gonna end up, okay? So, take this too, okay? Very soft, uh, Michael sells these. I mean, this is just, oh, so smooth. Occasionally go back and, you know, run this over your car. Watch your mirrors, watch your radio antennas and everything. Be careful, okay? Now, why do you do this? Okay, first off, it repels literally fiber and dirt and whatever. It also protects it. Um, went to a show one time, kid was gluing parts on and inadvertently put a drop of glue, super glue, on the roof of one of my cars. Not supposed to do that. The fact that I put enough coats of paint and clear on, I was able to wet sand it out and polish it out after I got it back home. But this protected it too. So, what else you have to take? Well, naturally you have to take a little bit of super glue, take a knife, two different size tweezers. Actually, I always take these and I take a pair of the fine ones. Also take a couple applicators. Now you can put all this in too one model car box okay now okay I want to transport it all right a lot of guys put them in plastic containers I don't like to why well it slides around some guys put it they got foam and everything else in it that's okay but you still got the plastic remember what I said quite a while ago about electrostatic charge yeah because anything that's in that box, anything that's around it, when you're moving that model, taking it out of there, that it's coming out of that, it's, it's an electrostatic charge. It sounds ridiculous, but every time that you move a piece of plastic in the air, whatever is floating around is going to be attracted to that plastic. It's, it's physics, kid. Okay, so what I transport mine in are these postcard boxes. Now these are available on the south on the a company on the south side of Pittsburgh. Okay. Pittsburgh File and Box Company. Okay. 51 South 14th Street, Pittsburgh, PA 15203. Okay. Now I put paper towel on the bottom, okay, put these cars, they don't slide around, they're separate, now you could put some paper towel in between, I try to avoid that because the next thing you know, if you got a car built and you don't have side windows in it, then what's going to happen, the fibers are going to get inside the interior, etc. But this is the way that I take them, okay, this way, you can set it down on a table, slide it out, you either have to take it out, set it on top here, just pick up your cars, and also you should have T-mirrors. They're about yay big, but yay big. 
we set it down on the mirror. There's no place to run and no place to hide. That's why I always say to you guys, you got to make sure that you run your detail all the way through. This way, that this there's several different reasons for this. First off, you set a car down on a mirror. Then they can look in the mirror's reflection. They can see everything underneath. Now, for whatever reason, some judges get off on picking up model cars. We did a show in Columbus years back. I had this big box circled with a big red check mark in it that they provided three quarters by three quarters of an inch said do not touch the models. Did we do well with the show? Oh very well. It was, in, it was a uh, IPMS Nationals show. I come home with awards but I also come home with out of 14 cars that I entered into the show I ended up repairing 10 of them because somebody picked them up. Okay so that's the reason for the mirrors. Okay one for each car. Alright, they go into your classes. Don't be afraid to put your car out in front. You want the judges to see it. You want to protect it, keep it at home. As the old saying went, shit happens? Well, sometimes it does. It does. But you want them to see your car. So put it out there. No place to run, no place to hide, boys and girls. It's sitting on a mirror. They can see everything, and it's right there. And as I said in previous episodes, if you've got your colors going the way that they're supposed to be going, grabs the judge's eyes, they come back, they take a look at your car, then they see all the detail and everything. Um, the shows are fun. They really are. Um, get to see a lot of really nice models, get to meet some really great people, and uh, get an education. This is the way you transport them. This you put on the back seat. Okay. Now if you take 10 cars, you got two of these, one on top of the other, or sit them lengthwise on the seat. You could take a blanket or something to push it. Most back seats have a little tilt to them, so they nestle in. They don't move. Jake will tell you because usually we've got, when we go to a show that we're vending at, I've usually got five or six of these that are full. Thus far, Knock on wood, we haven't had any problems. So, this is your prep kit. This is all you need to go to a show with. Just go and have fun. Keep your eyes open, pay attention, listen to what people are talking about and what they have to say. You'll learn a lot, I promise you. All right, it's Fundamental Friday, and this is the end of this segment. So, you all have a great week. God bless. See you, old man. I'm out.